Hey friend, happy, happy, happy new year, happy 2019. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it is 2019 already. Is it just me or did 2018 like seriously fly by? Welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, welcome. My name is Synovia. I hope that you stick around, like, comment, subscribe, but be sure to hit the bell so you're notified when I upload a new video. If you're part of my gang gang, hey girl, hey. I'm still geek that it's 2019, like for real, for real. So what I wanted to do today, first off, let me turn these notifications off on my phone because they'll be going off um, the entire time. I hope that this video uploaded today. It is January 1st, 2019, and I wanted to do a wig review. It is a lace front premium synthetic wig by Bobby Boss. Uh, this is the Yara wig. The packaging is upside down, but I'll still show you guys what it looks like. This is what it looks like coming in, and as you can see, she is blue so we are playing around with some blue magic today like i said she is a lace front premium um synthetic wig i've taken her out the pack but i haven't done anything with her jesus 136 yara and the color is tt one B I N D B L. i'm assuming that's indigo blue that's what we gonna go with there's what it looks like. I will say this is my second uh, Yara Bob. I have her in red also. I'm not sure what the name of that color is. I'm going to cut the um, tag off first and then we'll do the full shebang from there. I actually bought this wig, of course it was last year because it is the first day of the year, but I actually bought this wig like last spring, summer. And I just, I never got around to wearing it. Um, I go back and forth between my wigs, wearing my natural hair. Um, I'm braided down now, like six jailhouse braids. Fix it, Jesus. But this is what she looks like right out of the pack. That blue is like a true blue for real. She does have a middle part, as you can see. I'm hoping I don't have to tweeze. I'm probably, I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna tweeze and pluck off camera just a little bit right here. Um, this is just the parting space you get here. She has the one comb in the back, back here. Um, feels like two combs in the temple area, which is right here. No more parting besides this middle part. So if you wanted to change her, you would have to kind of offset it. Um, but even my red one I wear in the middle. So I'm gonna take the netting off, lace around. All of the lace is around here. So I am going to, and like I said, she's just a straight blunt cut. No bump, no A-line, asymmetrical, none of that. Like, I'm excited to rock this blue. I've done blue box braids. I have done blue bundles before, but it was never this vibrant blue. It was a little deeper than it. So I'm excited to see what this looks like on my skin tone. Um, this will be my first time actually putting her on. I, I didn't even try her on in the store. So I'm gonna go off camera really quick, cut the lace, just pull just a few little pieces right here in the uh, parting. Cause I don't like mine, I mean, it looks good, I'm not gonna lie, but I like my parting to be just a tad bit wider. So let me go off camera and do that really quick, um, and I'll be right back. So I do like to use the back comb, bring it up just a little bit because I do like to kind of come um, Okay, so I am going to take a little bit of concealer. I'm going to use my NARS um, hazelnut here. Just a tad bit of concealer, um, just sort of kind of blend in with the skin part since I kind of brought it a tad bit behind my baby hairs, my natural baby hair should I say. And you see how I just did that dot there? I'm going to kind of dab it. I'm just getting a little bit off the brush with a small little cheap little makeup brush. Now, what you don't want to do is leave it just like that because it looks wiggy, it looks fake. But bring it in here. 
then I kind of just take it. Let me see, I got another brush. I'm using my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and the color here is Hazelnut. That is this one right here. And I'm just gonna brush just a little bit in on a, it's an e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. Just to kind of, for the powder to set the concealer and not make it look so harsh. Just kind of take your finger and dab it in so it, the, um, I guess the heat from your fingers will kind of make it blend a little more. And that's basically, I think she ready though. And if you're ever doing this and realize that you put too much on, you can always get like a mascara or just a little bit to kind of brush in the parts. But that's how I like mine because I don't like those skinny parts. In my opinion, I'm not knocking anybody else with their wigs, but in my opinion, those skinny parts look wiggy. And if the part is wider, so I just plucked a little bit out. If you put uh, eyeshadow the color of your scalp or concealer the color of your scalp in there and kind of blend it out it lightens those hairs at the roots so it doesn't look like it's such a skinny part I hate to see girls with a cute wig but the part is so skinny and it just screams wig so I didn't use the side combs at all I mean again I did purposely put her behind my natural baby hairs and I always do that with my wigs. I hate for them to be right there, especially if I'm not doing a whole lot of tweezing. Um, and I got a little bit of gel up here in my natural parting area. But other than that, this is her. Let me see if I can get a, a back view. This is what she looks like from the back. Again, she's not a, ooh, look at that camera picking her up, girl. Yes, you see? Mm. Yes, and this is a Bobby Boss Yara. And I, I lied. I said she wasn't an A-line. She is an A-line. Miss Yara is an A-line. I want to see, let me change the look, my lip look. I'm going to let you guys look at her like this. Mm, ooh, she is bad. I need to do a, a thumbnail for this here. This is actually pretty. I was nervous to see how she would look on my skin, but I like this. Let me see if we edged her up with a dark look. Mm, dark lip. So hold on, and there we go. I don't even know what color this is, but I'm feeling her. Um, it says MAC, it's a lip glass. Uh, the little label isn't on the bottom here. I don't even know how long I've had this, but this is what it looks like here. Yeah, so it's like a bluish purple. It is a glossy look, so it's not a matte, but it kind of just, it's, you know, edgy for this blue Yara wig, this blue magic we got going on. So let me know what you guys think. Yay, nay. Do you like the dark lip just to make it fun? Do you prefer the nude lip that I had uh, previously? How do you like the wig? Does it look natural to you? Would you have guessed, well, not natural, like for real, for real, but would you have guessed that it was synthetic? Um, premium synthetic wig. Um, I do bring my wigs just a little bit behind my baby hairs because in my opinion when it sits here I don't care how much pleasing and talk talking <laughs> plucking you do it looks wiggy so just leave a little bit of your edges out this is not gonna be shown anyway so. yeah so let me know what you guys think um thanks for sticking around oh y'all better catch that I think this gonna be the thumbnail here. Yes, baby. Yes. <laughs> Thanks again for tuning in, and I will see you guys on the next. Is that lipstick on my teeth? It is. Fix it. Oh God. Yeah, she about to come off. I will see you guys on the next video. <laughs>